Hello guys. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hey guys, I've missed you. I've missed you so much. It has been how long? Eh, almost a month, guys. I've been a little bit under the weather, so forgive me, guys. I hope I'll never get lost this much again. Anyway, I have missed you so much. I know you have missed me. <laughs> so, um, in that one month's time, it's exactly, I think, 23. Is it 23 days? 23 days, a lot. A lot has happened. Guys, we are happy with the progress. So, I hope you'll enjoy the video. So, sorry? The rain came and passed. Uh, guys, I'm telling you, the El Nino came and passed. We have, of course, as we always say, we appreciate the rains. They come with their blessings. And now I think we are past that. Yeah? Although I hear it will still rain again. Yeah. But it won't be as hectic as it was. So, we are thankful for the rains. And also... I think it, this is good news for the people who are experiencing extreme rains. Yeah? See, that has already stopped. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get in the video. Welcome. So, today we are sitting here with our lovely Miss. Imagine I just forgot the name. Peach. Oh, my God. Guys. I love peaches. I love peaches, so I'm very happy with the growth so far. As you can see, this thing has actually been outdoing itself. You can actually see we just finished. If you look clearly, you can see we pruned yesterday. Here, 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 and there. So one thing we, of course, we encourage pruning because once you prune, it encourages lateral branches you can see how we have a lot of lateral branches over here so this will ensure the more the branches we are hoping once we start getting the fruits the more fruits we'll have yeah and we have our beautiful rosemary here the herb guys the rosemary tea it's so sweet we also have if you it can be used to tenderize meat or rather the flavor when it slaps on the meat guys is so nice we have our lavender here guys i'm really looking forward to the day this lavender will start getting flowers i think i usually say that almost in all the videos here yeah? i'm looking forward to that guys before we continue this berry finally started getting some fruits oh my god this one actually it's extremely ripe the birds have even started getting it. Ah. Oh my god. It's so sweet when it's this dark. So sweet. And this one it's almost ripe. Yeah, we can see the how our pomegranate net it's doing very well it has some tiny flowers we are hoping they'll turn into fruits with time we have the dragon you can see how much they are doing well we actually pruned the dragons because they were having extremely branch the branches which were going this way instead of going upwards so we had to do some pruning there but they look lovely from afar yeah we have this fig this fig guys the last time we had forgotten to feed it some water but now we can see it's doing so much better you can see how it has a lot of fruits i don't know if you can see it this fig the last time it had fruits there were so many but the birds were in plenty so we did not end up eating a lot of fruits as we expected but it's okay, no complaints. I hope we, um, this, this time around we'll get some fruits and we'll eat them, yeah? We have the Wambogo apple here. Guys, look at it, beautiful, right? I know the last time they were, no, 
the last time we had the video they were not as huge you can see we had to support because guys we were afraid it might start breaking because we have an apple which started breaking up so we were afraid of that and guys you can also see other apples there and guys okay before before we go so far you can see here we have these branches these ones are the ones that kate is always saying that people should get rid of them you see these ones because the grafting point is here yeah so these ones should be something that should be gotten rid of yeah we have these other fig this is one of my favorite pigs in the pigs <laughs> one of my favorite figs in the farm i have to say that it's doing well i love it we have some apples here guys this is what i'm talking about you see here where we have done a lot of ukarabati so this branch had literally broken off we found it when it's lying down like this i think it's mainly because it has so much weight so we are thinking of thinning it over there because hey, i think it's too much for it yeah you can even see even this one but this one it's the one which had broken off and now guys you can see one of our biggest figs here figs what's happening to me apples oh my god guys sorry we we actually supposed to just tune up this one yeah you can see it it looks amazing <gasps> tell me why that one just fell off look at the size guys i know it's not like super ready ready but we have been meaning to to thin. to thin and we thought because it's almost ready we can start with this one so that we can give the others a chance to grow yeah but we ended up having two it's okay and you can see it's a good size guys so love to see it yeah we have the next here we have our wambogo apples guys you remember the time we were saying we'll be we'll bend the branches to see what can happen and you can see it has really encouraged a lot of branches even this one it's it just started getting the branches another day we have another one which really has branches which are so big but you can see how it has a lot of branches so it means and it has some flowers most of flowers it's shed but not actually shedding you can see where there is a branch a branch there was a flower but i hear that's a good thing actually it's encouraged that you discourage the fruiting before the one year mark so that now you can have a lot of branches so that means when it starts bearing fruits there'll be so many of them because the more the branches the more the fruits yes the more I see you are, you are a good student so guys here again guys also this is among <laughs> this is my least favorite fig <laughs> no hard feelings but it's still super nice and i love it so much hey this this fig guys as you can see we have some this one it's almost ready ready there are so many mosquitoes here this one it's almost ready this one should be ready in a couple of days yeah and guys the thing that made me wonder you can see how the, the figs here when they are not red mature enough they are small then when they mature up they become so big i don't even think the video will do it justice but you can see we also have one which is ready here guys and the reason i did this is because our we were meaning to record the video yesterday but we had a lot of things going on in the farm so we could not record so then the birds saw it fit to start eating this fig and i was saving it for you guys are you ready Ta -da! guys look at this fig isn't it awesome it looks so nice let me tonight 
harvesting time. You can see where the birds had started poking yesterday. Is it visible? Yeah, yeah but you can see, guys. It's so big. Look, if look. I've never seen a fig this big. And I don't understand what's happening because as you can see, even the other one, which is almost ready, it's this big. Yeah? Hey, let me put these ones. Oh, should we do testing with you guys? No, maybe later. Let's first do the, the video. Let me leave these fruits here because I'm not about to carry them along with me. Yeah? We can see the... Oh my god, why am I forgetting the names? Basil. The Basil, guys. This one, I have to tell you, we, we, we used it as a seasoning in the meat. And it was super, super nice. I can see mint here. I think that's why I want to call the Basil mint. Because I can see the mint here. Oh, so nice. So nice, we had a little pruning here because we are trying to shape this orange over here. We can see the lemongrass. This one is trying to grow. That one looks so amazing. Then we can see like this, this, this small apple last time it did not get any fruits, but we can see it has, no, you know, I, I encourage every plant to go with its own pace in this farm. You can see it has this new branch. This is a 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 new branch. Uh, so as much as you see it looking this way it's driving in its own towns it has refused to be defined by any other thing it's doing its own thing we love that you can see this maya lemon love love maya lemon i'm looking forward to when we'll start getting some fruits from this place but it looks amazing i don't i think the last time you saw it it was not this branchy yeah and you can see even how we have some new branches here doing, you can see here. I think, I think one of the prettiest things in a lemon grass, it's the new branches. They look so good. In a Maya lemon. In a Maya lemon. Did I, what did I say? Oh my God, what's happening? I think it's so early, guys. I'm not used to doing the video this early in the morning, yeah? Most of the times we do the videos in the evening. So this is the apple I was telling you guys about. You can see we how it has grown. Look, we have a apple here. We managed to get a, a, one apple there and it's still branching. I don't know if you can see it. But you can see how these are now the branches are like big, big. Yeah. Oh, we have another one here. Even these two flowers are turning into apples. Wow. This is so amazing to see, especially since this is the first time I'm seeing it. I had not seen it. Amazing. Do you want to see? You can see the two flowers. The two flowers. The kaipo here. Yeah, love to see that. But I love the shape these trees are taking right now. Do you love it? I love it. Guys, let me know in the comment section if you... You love it this way when it's so branchy yeah because i was thinking when, since it had only three branches i was feeling like it's not enough and it was not getting other branches so once we did the bending thingy since then we have been getting a lot of branches yeah we have our orange here it's doing amazing this one so this one we bought it when it had five tiny fruits they became huge, we ate them, but since then it has refused to bear other fruits. <laughs> but honestly, guys, we are hoping for the best. We replaced the, the Wambogo apple here that ended up drying up. We replaced it here. And this one, this one needs to be cut off because the grafting point is here. This is... Uh, Pixie, yeah, love to see it. This is a uh, Washington. Okay, guys, you can see this side from the view from this side. The I love to see how the the avocados have really grown and how even the tiny ones. It has a lot of new shoots and it's growing. It's doing well. Honestly, guys, when I look at this side, I see 
marvelous growth i see god i don't know guys because you remember there was a time this side had stunted growth nothing was growing and after feeding it manure being patient with it here we are it looks amazing we love to see that we have our we we have what guava we have our guava here this guava has some it has some two fruits you can see eh, i'm looking forward to eating this guava you know the funny thing about guava when we bought it even the person who sold us they were not sure what kind of guava this is but now we'll have to know when we start eating so guys that kind of trips me a little bit because i don't know the type of guava this is until i taste so it means if i taste this guava and i don't like it i'll have to uproot it and you can see how huge it has become you can even see the stem how huge it is so you can imagine but i'm really i'm really looking forward to good news yeah 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 guys so you remember when we talked about starting a whole kitchen garden guys now we were just talking thinking about it but here we are after 20 okay guys so first of all before anything in the last 21 days we started a kitchen garden yeah it did not start when it's this large we started with this part this part obviously you can see how this part has really like grown we have some onions we have some cabbages we have some tulip we have some red radish we have some pepper we have some capsicum we have spinach maybe the spinach are even ready yeah we have some lettuce we have some cabbage and we also have some onions here so this is what we started with so after monitoring the whole monitoring the kitchen garden for a while we saw wow this is beautiful we can do this we can actually start even munching like on the spinach and the hot note. So we figured since this is going so well and okay guys, everything I think starts with the, I, I don't know if you'll, you'll, you'll show them the journey of this kitchen garden. I don't know because once we started, we planted, then we put the mold. You can see guys how mulch works wonders because we have not had any weeds so that's a plus and the plants are pretty much well hydrated before we did not have a sprinkler we had someone put the water every day every day but we figured sprinkler would make the work easier so guys when we bought the sprinkler then it started the service area for the, the for the sprinkler was too large yeah so we decided since in 21 days we are already seeing growth why not add a lot of stuff so that everywhere we can have all around the sprinklers perimeter we can have stuff so yesterday night in darkness guys i don't know what we were so busy we bought the stuff but we only managed to plant them at night so we started the next phase of our farm so guys now we have some tomatoes yeah guys this is how tiny tomatoes look like they look so nice how old are they <laughs> yeah we have some we have some onions here and we have a capsicum capsicum and capsicum but mostly the, this is a uh, onion zone we have cabbages this side we have cabbages here and we also have our pineapple yes we have our purple cabbage on this side we have our purple cabbage here just take a minute to admire yes we also have our cabbage other cabbages here
Okay, here we have managu. How how do you call managu in English? We have managu. We have terere here. This is terere. That's managu. And you can see the mold yesterday night it was not enough. So we ended up replacing with this that sawdust. Wood shavings. Wood chips. Yeah, but hopefully we will that's for in the meantime we'll get the other mulch soon. So on this side we have the we still have the terere, we have the <laughs> Chinese scales. Yeah, on then on this side we have the radish. The radish are from from here. From here going that way, that way, that's the radish. We have the tulip this way, this way, this way, this way, all over here. And this is a capsicum and capsicum. And guys, this is the strawberry guava we added. You remember the time I was telling you how, after testing the strawberry guava for the first time, it was so nice. It was so nice, guys. Then I couldn't contain myself, so I had to add more. So, yeah. And this is capsicum. So that's it. I don't under, I don't know if you guys can see how we have a lot and lot of stuff. It might seem like this place is small, but guys, I, I can tell you for free that we have over 60 cabbages. 70. <laughs> over 70 cabbages. We have over 20 purple cabbages. Guys, I'm telling you, it's a thriving. And this is an evidence from the first growth. So we love, we love to see that. This is the one of our favorite thing. Then we have some purples there. I, I don't know how we left that out. Guys, come along. Let's see some papayas here. And our beautiful, beautiful pineapple, which is ready. Yeah. Should we harvest this one? Yeah, yeah, why not? Guys, I've been thinking, you know, I saw um I saw I saw a video on someone who had managed to cut this this upper thing of the of the pineapple divided into four pieces and he was managed to get four cuttings of uh, pineapple. That was so interesting to me. So let let, let me not cut it right now because I want to be doing um, I want to try that out because I'm so curious about it so let's not cut that right now because I'm not ready for all that commitment today maybe later yeah we can see the purpose oh my god they look so nice you can see this one oh this one is so delicious and guys I know you are wondering, how are you letting the purples get ripe from the trees and the birds eating them? Guys, the first time when... Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The first time when these purples started getting big, we had some birds even... They ate a whole pineapple, a whole popo, yeah? But right now, the birds have a lot of things to eat, so they are not harming the farm so yeah that's it so we are enjoying the small blessings before they come back guys we also have some papayas here this one is tiny tiny it looks so nice it looks so nice look at this one look at this one can you see from this other side they look so nice I think we have like three here, plus we ate one from this place. We munched one from here yesterday night. Yeah, they look amazing. So next we have these avocados so that we can move to the other side. Guys, you can see like how this avocado, it has a lot of fruits. You know, it's so funny with this place. We have some avocados which have, right now they have a lot of fruits we have some which have now big fruits 
and we have some which are almost flowering you know you can tell when an avocado is almost flowering but in this case this one has a lot of two fruits we love to see it if you also look up there you can see how it's it also has started getting new growth love to see that i have to let you know the reason why someone is getting so excited about the new growth is because let me catch a breath <laughs> honestly it's because uh during the rainy season most of the plants don't grow they just stagnate so when you start seeing new growth you know now that is the dormancy they are breaking out of love love to see that guys guys this is one of my favorite things in the farm oh my god we have the spring first of all let's this is what i was talking about i think actually today the length has actually increased yeah what so guys you can see how the sprinkler it it has huge huge surface area this is what i was talking about that is why we ended up adding a lot of circumference and i actually think there is still room for more yeah maybe so if we see how this other next part it's doing then maybe we can add some more yeah yes oh my god and i had not even seen can you see how on that avocado we have huge avocados yeah. those ones are almost ready yeah? yeah guys we have some avocados which will be ready in a week or two so you can place your order yeah you can you can guys and i'm telling you yeah the no the farm is officially no no not open for farm visit the farm is officially open for selling for selling to you guys you know we were having a debate with a friend of, of mine and we were saying like one should start selling once they have had enough of the once they are full so guys we have had our time with the fruits around the farm we have eaten we have eaten <laughs> about time. so it's about time we give we share the joy we experience once eating fruits so if you want some fruits feel free to place an order now we are open for business yeah especially popos if you want popos if you want passion if you want avocados hit me up we are open so guys you can see the strawberry guava the reason i'm so excited is because they are so sweet look and then look at this branch i don't it's know mine. i don't know if you can see from this side and then you can see all over here we even have some down there wow, wow, wow. and they are so sweet so you can munch with those and guys you can see there are no birds eating the strawberries you remember the last time we were competing with the birds for the strawberries right now there are no birds guys we are just enjoying ourselves so we love to see that we are enjoying before that you should munch one with me you want one one as well here you go my hands are dusty so guys we don't actually have even to wash because these these guys are purely organic how do you feel mm. do you remember the first time you tasted the strawberry guava yeah. mm. what did you think so guys when you told this young man that the stro we had a lot of strawberry guavas he couldn't wait to get to the farm <laughs> so sweet. this was his first stop oh my god guys these guys are so sweet and you can see how they look then let's see from the inside yeah. and they are so sweet they are matching with the nails oh i had not noticed i think we can spend the whole video here yeah we can <laughs> but please let's go can we can we end the video here <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the guys deserve to see more of what's going on. Go. 
that's nice. That was a nice top. Mm-hmm. That's so nice. So guys, we have we still have some maize. We already harvested the we already harvested the sweet corn long time ago. These are fresh maize. You can see and the other ones they are already drying up. Then maybe we should go this way. We can see the the is senior replacement here this one had not broken out of its dormancy but it's breaking out of its dormancy oh my god i think here we put the sugarcane as mulch and they are starting to grow look 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 what will happen now we will be growing sugarcane around the tree so yeah that's doing so much oh my god i had not even seen that guys look at this tree this is this is what i'm talking about we have some trees that really really have some fruits i have to admit guys now if you see these like it's like during throughout the farm will be having different seasons when it comes to fruits because like these ones will be ready in two months this one should be ready in two months or two to three months yeah i don't know if you can see the tree tomatoes here oh my god even look at this tiny tiny no let me digress kid go yeah look I, I wanted to go that way but first let's come this way guys look at this no you should come you you should see from this side look at how it's tiny and how it has a lot of fruits now look at this one oh my god that is why i said let's digress for a mini look at that tree guys look at that tree oh my god even look at the other one on that side Hey, what's happening here? That one. Guys, don't they look amazing? Enjoy, just enjoy. So guys can you imagine that is what we are that's the view we are waking up to every every morning <laughs> it does i actually had not seen that You can't get enough of the avocados. I was. When you are away, I got myself a little cheap. So me, oh. <laughs> oh my God, this one. Oh, these ones are starting to. You know, we have not harvested. We harvested a couple of them, but you can see this one and this one. They are almost ready. Do you know how you know they are almost ready? look at this one you see this tiny yellow here and here and here you can see it's a it's turning so they are ready they um yes there's a whole line of popos there from there all the way down there yeah and if you notice this is a male papayas guys honestly the papaya thing it keeps intriguing me you remember that last time we were talking and we were saying get rid of all the apples 
oh the the papayas all the milk and then guys we were having a discussion with an elder in the society you know our our mitos for the people who don't know mitos are like the all the mother of your show show or your gra- great grandmother yeah and they were saying you should keep male papayas because they end up sweetening the females well guys there's so many so there's so many yeah when it comes to popos so you do you at this point just do you so we decided to retain this one so that we can see oh oh look at this one so guys this is where we are saying we have some of the avocados which are almost ready this one should be ready in two weeks or so they are, healthy. Oh my God. they are so healthy guys they are healthy. heavy they are so heavy and i know right now even the avocados in the local market they are not there so yeah guys if you are an avocado lover then hit me up oh, look at that one popo it has a lot of Proposed chart almost ready. Oh, and before we, I forget, we planted a uh, sweet melon. Yeah, so we have one here, it has even started flowering. We have one there all along this lane. We have a lot of them, but you can see from this side. I know they are so tiny, and because we also have garbage like this, the weeds, you can't see them well, but there we go. We have that one. We have that one. This one over here. This one over here, this one over here. Guys, I think everywhere you go, even you can see, we also planted another line of purpose here. They are tiny, yeah, so. but they are doing so well. So we should be having a lot and lots of purpose. Yes. We have the the sweet potato vines guys you know i had th- there was a time i was telling my brother here that i had never seen the flowers of st- of the sweet potato vine so if you are just like me let me introduce you to the flowers these are the flowers that's so crazy you know at first i didn't even know that s- sweet potatoes have flowers oh, yeah i didn't know and then if someone is interested in buying the vines yeah if you want vines guys if you want to start up with your vines then hit me up and for the guys who might be wondering oh hey, let's see your mud your muddies let's look at your muddies Ooh. Hey. that's why we need mud boots guys oh <laughs> you're disrupting me first of all guys what i was saying about the vines if you want the vines we have three different of sweet we have three different types of sweet potatoes yeah so we have one one is purple on the outside and purple on the inside yes we have those vines i think majority of them are here these these ones we have the ones which are purple on the outside, but on the inside it's orangish. Yeah? So sweet. And we have the ones which are white on the outside and yellow on the inside. They are so sweet, guys. So, if you want any of the three types, let me know. Guys, it's just the other day we were telling you guys that we are planting plantains. And now, ta-da! Look, guys. We have the plantains. We have the plantains here with us. Honestly, I didn't... Guys, I didn't know that plantains don't take that long to start... You can't say fruiting. Is it fruiting? It's fruiting. Bananas are fruit. Is it? It is. But... This is a plantain. It's it's not edible when it's raw. 
Okay, what a man. <laughs> okay, I don't know. But guys, look. These babies are here with us. I love that. Good job. Oh my god. This is so exciting. This is one of the most exciting things in the farm, guys. Honestly, I have to say that no doubt without any doubt. This is one of my favorite things in the farm right now. I have a lot of favorites. Strawberry, guava, apples, figs. Oh my. You can even see this one. Even this one, it has already started fruiting, fruiting, getting babies. <laughs> wow. And guys, one thing I have noticed is this one, they are the type of plantains which have, which get two huge branches, while the other one, it has three huge branches. So love to see that. Okay. The other thing that I'm most excited about with these plantains is we already have the babies coming on. So guys, the good thing about this is when you start getting these ones, you know, even if this one gets ready, in future, you are also sorted. So it's, you don't only have one to consume right now, even in future, you have many, many more. Yeah, we have the purple banana here. This one has not yet started fruiting, but take your time, girl. Take your time. No hurry in Africa. We have another plantain here. Also, this one, it's, it's doing good. It's doing good. <laughs> but it's like this one, it's experiencing a lot of sunburn, yeah? Because you can see like those three, they, ha they are all green and whatnot. And you can see this one, the leaves are pale, yeah? You can see there was pruning going on here, first of all. Love to see it. it. Now the tree looks amazing. And guys, throughout the farm... Okay, let me show you something. Kidogo. I don't, you, you'll have to come all the way. Guys, look at the new shoots coming up. These ones. They are so pretty. So throughout you will find that we have we have avocados that want to start getting new shoots. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, so that's it. Let's keep going. Guys, we have this this we have some sweet yellow passion which have ran out of their lifespan. You know, and then the funny thing I experienced about these fruits, like you see these ones here, they have really dried kabisa. This is because they have already finished the fruits. And you can see these ones, it's green here. So they will wait until this, all these ripen and we harvest, then now it dries up. So that's crazy, but we have some replacements here. You can see these ones, tiny, tiny. I don't know if they'll ever get here, but even this one started here. One thing I, knew, I noticed about the sweet yellow passion is that they take their time to grow. But when they grow. But when they grow. Ah! Guys, these ones are not like the purple passion. The purple passion, once you plant, you start seeing growth marvelously and growth. But with sweet yellow, they take their time. Yeah. Another plantain here, love to see that. It looks amazing. We have these, now the, these ones, the sweet potato vines. Now these ones, they are white outside and yellow inside. Very sweet. Very sweet, honestly. We also have a sweet yellow passion that's running out of its course here. This one we have not yet replaced, but guys, throughout the farm, we have a lot of we have actually planted more, more passions. Maybe we'll show that because most of them are. Yeah, we have a sweet banana here, guys. I don't know if you can see how it has some bananas. I don't know if you guys know Kasuiti. It's called Kasuiti. It's sweet bananas, tiny. They, they, they are so tiny and so sweet when they ripen up we have our fuete tree here guys and for you know we were discussing yesterday and we are saying for the first time guys we have a fuete avocado fruit the fruit itself the first one in the farm 
You see it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the first OG in the farm. Yeah, that's it. And we can see how this tree is beautifully shaped. Ah, I love to see me a tree that is cute. Yeah, guys, we have... Yeah, this one has a lot of new shoes. This is a senior. Wow, we have a senior here. It looks amazing. It needs some pruning because I think this branch of oh, that one had been pruned. This one needs some pruning. Oh my God, look at this one. Look at the growth here. And this one has started flowering. Look. That's so crazy. Spectacular. Guys, no, let's even first take a minute to enjoy. As we listen to the birds. Guys, can you imagine? Let's just go. And our replacement here. This one has not yet broken out of its dormancy. Wow. Actually, I think we should, this, this part is just going to admire the trees. I don't even need to talk. But we have some ripe purples here. They look so nice. We have three of them here. They look amazing. You can see this Kakuzi replacement looking amazing. I think we have one of the largest trees in the orchard, guys. Look at it. Double my size and whatnot. Oh, and we have some. It has some huge avocados. Guys, come. No, come and see. 